Hey everyone, so start of a new week. I'm thinking we're just gonna go back to basics of customer service, customer experience, um, and just really focus on what are some key items that provide the best customer experiences. So, um, just arrived to get my hair did this morning. I'm, you know, get it. I tell my daughters get it painted. <laughs> they always wonder what color I'm getting painted. Um, and get a haircut and just uh, go see my new hairdresser, Nicole. And I love coming to see her. And just thinking about why do I love coming to see her? And a lot of why I like to come to see her is because of how personable she is, how she makes me feel when I'm here. And it's not because I feel like amazing just because of my hair looks nice when I leave but because of just how she makes me feel in connection to her so um, I talked to her last time I was here because uh, usually while I'm sitting with my hair color you know culturing or whatever <laughs> whatever it does on your head um, she'll like do a trim on somebody else when they come in and I listened to her talking to them and she always remembers key details from last time that person was there, things that are going on in that person's life, um, just tidbits about them to connect with them. And we were discussing that actually and she said, you know, I try and make it a good experience for each person that comes in. I try and make them feel like they have my full attention. So if I'm, she, cause she apologized to me, she said, if I'm not talking to you while I have another client over here, it's cause I really want to make sure they're getting my attention and that they feel important to me in this moment. And I was like, ding, 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 like amazing that she is doing that and understands that that is important for a customer, that they need to feel important. They need to feel the focus of the person that they're paying money to. Um, so think about next time you are sitting with somebody, are you giving them your attention? Are you, do you, if you have your laptop on your lap when you're making arrangements, are you doing email with somebody else? Are you really focused on what somebody's saying? Do you have your phone with you? Are you looking at your phone or your Fitbit messages as they pop through? Or are you being interrupted with somebody wanting you to go take another call or just anything? Are you really giving your focus to the people you're sitting with. Because if you're not, they notice it and it's making an impact on them and it's not a positive one. So make sure you are making people feel important when they're in your presence and with or with you, when they're with you. Even if it's, you know, salespeople that come in and um, word, people talk. So if someone is spending time with you and at the funeral home in any capacity and you're all distracted and you're doing 20 different things and I know I'm totally guilty of this because I get caught up in the the, the busyness and the um, the swirliness of of a day where it feels like everything is just in motion constantly and you don't stop and focus and make eye contact and really um, put your all into a conversation or put your all into what's going on at that moment and it comes across to those people that you're talking with and spending time with. And if you're doing that with a family, it really devalues that time that you're spending with them. So this week, make sure to consciously give your time, give your focus, give your energy to the people you're talking to and see what a difference it makes.